the next thing that we'll understand is the concept of negative remainder this is this concept is a very very important concept because if you understand this concept the questions can be solved in a fraction of second so let's look at the uh, look at an example if i have to write 29 it can be written and i'm dividing it with 15 so it can be written as 15 into 1 which is 15 plus 14 which is what 29 i can write 29 as 15 into 2 minus 1 that means this remainder plus 14 and this remainder minus 1 I can say these are one as the same thing so when 29 is divided by 15 the remainder is coming out to be plus 14 in the first case and minus 1 in the second case so the remainder when 29 is divided by 15 either I can say it as plus 14 or I can say it as minus 1 so a negative remainder can always be written as a positive remainder and a positive remainder can always be written as a negative remainder. Let me take a smaller example and help you understand this. I'm writing down some consecutive numbers. Now if I look at 5 when divided by 3. Now the, when I'm dividing a number 3 with 3 obviously the remainder would be 0. When I'm dividing 4 with 3, the remainder would be 3. When I'm dividing 5 with 3, the remainder would be 2. This would give me a remainder of again 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, so on. Now what does this mean? Look at the two multiples of 3 that you have, 3 and 6. This number is 2 more from the previous multiple of 3 and 1 less than the, previous, than the next multiple of 3. So what does it mean? I have a surplus of 14 that means from the previous multiple of 15 there is a surplus of 14 surplus of 14 is from the previous multiple and from the next multiple it will be regarded as a deficit so from the next multiple that means to reach to the next multiple I need one more to get to a multiple of 15 I need to have 15 jumps I already have 14 so how many more I need I need one more to move to a next multiple of 15 so plus 4 and minus 1 a 1 is the same thing here when I'm dividing it with 3 plus 2 and minus 1 means 1 is the same thing plus 2 means from the last multiple I have two surplus and to reach to a next multiple I need one more so this 5 can be written as 3 into 1 plus 2 or 3 into 2 minus 1 from the first multiple I have surplus of 2 for the next multiple I have a deficit of 1 so negative remainders means a deficit now this positive can always be written into a negative thing now, if you look at it whatever number you are dividing with if you are dividing m with n the remainder we have already talked about could be between 0 1 2 so on up to n minus 1 so if you look at it this remainders will the absolute value of positive and negative remainder add up to give you the number itself so i'm talking only about the absolute value it will be 15 3 sorry 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so if i'm dividing a number with 14 i'm just supposing if i'm getting a plus 8 remainder that means in a negative sense in a negative sense it would be what minus 6 because 8 and 6 would add up to give you a 14 value the absolute value of positive and negative remainders add up to give you the divisor itself we hope you have enjoyed this video please like our video and subscribe to our channel on youtube you can visit our website edusathi.com to practice more questions on this topic and access other useful information like us and follow us on facebook and twitter to get exam related information and other such updates. We wish you all the best for your preparations. Thank you and have a good day.